I'm really happy to welcome you to the European Data Forum 2014 in our breathtaking Athens. This year's CDF 2014 is organized by the Athena Research Center and the National and Capodistrian University of Athens with the support of the European Commission as well as several other research projects and businesses working in the forefront of the data economy. Yeah, it's great to have the third year now of, of European Data Forum and having it in Athens here hosted by Athena Research and University of Athens. So it's very nice also because we are really growing over the last three years. So the first year in, in Copenhagen we had about 150 participants, the next year we had 280. We were in Dublin and Ireland and now the third year here in, in Athens we have about 500. All the people who were gathered here uh, did a great job in just pushing their own thoughts uh, and making it uh, sharing and joining. Now we have to take this fruit of this conference to the outside world and confront far more people how influential, how important it is for the new phase of the future of Europe. Events like today's conference, events like uh, having awards for the best uh, um, open, uh, open, open data city or open data business are very important. So uh, I think uh, it should go on and it, we should have more uh, of, uh, of, uh, of those initiatives. Is Europe ready for the data economy? I believe Europe is ready for the data economy and I think Europe must be ready for the data economy because the data economy is here now and um, it's, it's a, for us to take advantage of it and of course there will be some that um, move into the data economy a little bit slower than others but there are uh, great opportunities for those um, who are ready for the data economy now and take advantage of it. So a lot of people are actually experimenting. They don't wait for traditional structures to do stuff for them. So they go out, uh, go out the experiment, they try to build new stuff uh, to fail fast, to fail soon, to fail often. And this is helping a lot with actually ruling out the, um, the opportunities that are not really relevant and focusing on the, on the matters that are really, really important and are going to provide the actual opportunities for growth. The most interesting thing is the vast number of new applications that arise and we can tackle uh, with big data from all sorts of uh, sciences, uh, societal challenges, uh, government. The applications where big data uh, is uh, going to affect is tremendous and I think this is a big change that we are seeing in 2014 as the technology in the area matures. What we need to do to support startups and smaller companies to be part of the data revolution is to give them a certain platform, a certain infrastructure because to build infrastructures of course is very expensive and the small SMEs they cannot do it. So there's part of the infrastructure which is needed which should be actually done and funded through public money. It has been a privilege to host EDF 2014, the meeting place for researchers, policymakers, and businesses of the European data economy. We are really looking forward to participate in next year's EDF in Luxembourg and wish the best of luck to the organizers. Thank you.